Hey guys, welcome to Tested. Norm's, Tested. Norm's playing games. Uh, I'm here with Andrew Edelson uh, of NVIDIA. We're talking about Tegra 2 and, well, this is the first crazy multi-platform game I've seen. This game is running on a Android tablet, yep. uh, on a Windows PC, yep. and on a PS3. Uh, can you tell me a little about what's going on here, Andrew? Yeah, well, that, that's pretty much exactly right. The guys at Trendy Entertainment have made is a game called Dungeon Defender. It's, it's like a tower defender in a dungeon. They're actually using the Unreal Engine 3 on the PlayStation, the PC, and then they're using the same assets, just with some of the shaders and so on turned down, to actually play that game now on a Tegra tablet. So this is really what we're seeing at NVIDIA as, as a, a, what's going to be a great focus for game developers, convergence. Well, and, and when we say cross-platform, we're not talking about just a game that's the same on all three platforms. We're talking about a game that Norm is playing multiplayer from the tablet with somebody else who's playing multiplayer on the PS3. That's crazy. Yeah, exactly. And uh, as a former game developer, it's so exciting <laughs> because, you know, you can be sitting at home playing your PlayStation and then you have to go to work Yeah, something lame. Work sucks. Yeah, and so you grab your phone and you keep playing. Or you know you're you're out and and your guildmate gives you a call or something and says hey we're in a raid like, yeah I know you can't get home so play on your Tegra ride right, ride the train home and then uh, so uh, tell me a little bit about, about Tegra it's actually got eight processing cores inside the one piece of die so there's a dual core A9 okay. uh, from ARM there's a NVIDIA GPU and then there are uh, there's a video encoder and decoder and audio processor and so on and uh, it's all built for performance of course but also power so it's very low power so the, the extra cores if you're playing a video the CPUs are off you know they're not doing anything so it's we get great battery life and good power so give me a sense of scale here when you're using your gaming PC say I have a, a GTX 460 in my machine and I've got a big quad core CPU and six gigs of memory and a couple of hard drives that's what 150 200 watts oh easily yeah, yeah easily so we're, we're down in the one watt and, and under, yeah. Wow, okay, and, and lower when you're at idle. Yeah. So one watt is at full load? That's, that's you know, when you're, when you're playing a game, you're probably, you know, it varies, but you know, probably about a watt. If you're playing an audio file, it's like milliwatts. That's rad. Yeah. Very cool. Very, very cool. Thank you so much, sir.